Well, hello there, sweet people. Welcome to the Sweet K channel. On the very beginning of a video, I want to apologize for lighting. My uh, ring light is not working today because my power cable burned off. I don't know why. I'm trying to smile. I'm trying not to be upset and panicking. So today we are using natural light, which is not as complimenting. So I'm really sorry for that. You can really see everything on my skin, but let's get into my video. Today I'm going to try another DIY face mask today. Until now I was trying all the face scrubs, but today I'm going to use a face mask which contain bicarbonate of soda. That might be interesting. I might burn my face off. So today might be a burning day for me. <laughs> if you want to see how it will all end up, just carry on watching and I will show you probably my burnt face. For this face mask, as I mentioned, we need bicarbonate of soda, one or two tablespoons. I think I'm going to use just one because I don't want to use all my bicarbonate of soda. What am I going to use for cooking? Then we need the juice from half of lemon. This one is slowly dying, so I'm going to use it for a face mask. And last but not least ingredient is the honey. We need one teaspoon of a honey. You need to mix all these three ingredients, create a paste and apply it gently on your face. I read that I shouldn't be scrubbing, just applying it very gently with my fingers or makeup brush just because bicarbonate of soda can be a little bit harsh on your skin. So there is a first warning. I hope really that I won't burn my skin, but it would not surprise me today. I'm not having a very good day. It's just eight in the morning and already things went down the hill. So I, I guess today will be the day when I'm going to burn my face. If you want to see it, just stay watching and I'll show you. So let's start. I have a little plastic bowl with me and I am going to put, oh, cannot open it. I'm using a teaspoon because this is not a very big container. So I'll use two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda. Then, oh, juice of half of lemon, probably with the stones as well. Can you see? It's bubbling. Oh, whoa. Am I using the right ingredients though? Am I supposed to use bicarbonate of soda? Baking soda, so I guess that's it. It's not baking powder, is it? Okay, so this is how it looks like. I'm not sure if you can see, but um, it's bubbling. Can you hear it? Is that supposed to go on my... Okay, is it baking soda the same thing as bicarbonate of soda? Now I'm a bit worried. Yes, it is. So I guess this is what it's supposed to be doing I have uh, bubbles here well that's just interesting what is it gonna do to my face would it take my entire skin off <laughs> we'll see I guess we are gonna have a funny day today and last ingredient is honey so I need one teaspoon of honey I'm scared. <laughs> what is going to happen to my face? I know I'm always complaining that I have acne and, and I am too old for that. But at least I do have a skin on my face. I don't want to end up skinless. It's very liquidy. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's like a water. It's not a paste at all. I guess I will just use it how it is. Let's start applying it on my face. I will use the funny happened again let's begin i'm scared let's see how that will go apparently bicarbonate of soda does have some anti-inflammatory actions or powers so it should help with the acne and with the spots lemon should be controlling the oil, pro oil production on your skin I think I have 
have enough and now we need to wait 15 minutes and then wash my face and I did Now it is time to wash it off. I read the instruction how to use it. They said that I might feel some tingling, but I didn't experience anything. It really doesn't feel like anything. It's just a face mask on my face, but I don't feel any burning or anything, which I think it's a good sign. Don't have any red patches, which is good sign. I still have my skin on my face which is a really good sign so we'll see i'm going to wash it off and i will tell you how does it feel i'll probably put on some makeup and see how did my face absorb everything and how did it go and i will tell you my final thoughts on this diy face mask i'm back i washed it all off and i did put my makeup on and i have a mixed feelings i was a little bit scared to put it on my face because it was all bubbling and making noises and i was really afraid that my entire skin will come off with this mask but after washing my face i realized that the skin is all on my face it felt really nice i think when i did put a moisturizer on it did absorb really nicely it didn't feel very tight or very oily so i'm willing to try and use this mask again and see if it will improve my spots and my acne and if it will be really anti-inflammatory and calm down my skin but I cannot say that after first use but overall it felt really nice the skin felt very smooth and more refreshed again I don't think it will in any way affect my oil production because my skin is just crazy oily and um, I don't know what is happening I think my hormones went insane in the last few weeks and my acne just came back even if I am 30 years old and I am hoping that as I'm getting older I won't have these problems I have to go through it again I have to feel like a teenager in um, old body or older body let's say that but well what can I do about that I can just try some more DIY recipes and try some more face scrubs and face mask and film it for you so there you have it I really like it I will link the actual recipe down below so you can try it by yourself or you can follow my video my steps and let me know if you like it or if you do have any different suggestions or you tried some other masks or face scrubs just let me know and I'm willing to try them and I'm willing to film it for you just please don't tell me anything which will in any case hurt my skin or hurt my body and I will die because I don't really want to do that I would rather have acne on my face than die so it's not that serious I can live with that I'm just trying to keep it under control so thank you very much for watching thank you for staying with me don't forget to like and subscribe I'm uploading every Tuesday I have more content coming I would love to see you again so please stay tuned if you want to see more of me so until next Tuesday take care of yourself be happy have a smile on your face and I will see you very soon bye